Hey guys welcome back to another episode, in this video we will be going through our high probability awesome oscillator trading strategy in depth, and how we use it in combination with price action. By the time you finish with this video, you will know exactly how to identify high probability awesome oscillator patterns as well as how to enter and exit the pattern to maximize your profits. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. Awesome Oscillator is one of the most famous indicators developed by Bill Williams. Unlike the slow stochastic, which oscillates between the plus 100 to minus 100, the awesome oscillator is boundless. This indicator is a basic calculation of the two simple moving averages, and it gauges the current driving forces of the market. This is done by comparing the recent market momentum with the general momentum over a wider time frame. And now, let's briefly cover the three most popular awesome oscillator strategies for day trading. Strategy number one. Saucer strategy. The saucer trading strategy means that the trader is trying to find a specific setup of three consecutive bars on the histogram in order to detect a bullish or bearish signal. This strategy searches for quick changes in the momentum of the awesome oscillator histogram, all on the same side of the zero line. Consequently, the awesome oscillator saucer setup can be identified as follows. Long setup. Awesome oscillator is above zero. There are two consecutive red histograms. The second red histogram is shorter than the first. The third histogram is green. The trader buys the fourth candlestick on the open. Short setup. Awesome oscillator is below zero. There are two consecutive green histograms. The second green histogram is shorter than the first. The third histogram is red. Trader shorts the fourth candlestick on the open. Without going into too much detail, this sounds like a basic three candlestick reversal pattern that continues in the direction of the primary trend. Here are other examples of saucer strategy. Strategy number two. Bill Williams Twin Peak Strategy. This is a basic strategy, which looks for a double bottom in the awesome oscillator indicator. Twin Peaks is a method which considers the differences between two peaks on the same side of the zero line. A bearish Twin peak setup occurs when there are two peaks above the zero line. The second peak is lower than the first peak and followed by a red bar. The trough between both peaks must remain above the zero line for the duration of the setup. A bullish twin peak setup occurs when there are two peaks below the zero line. The second peak is higher than the first peak and followed by a green bar. Also very importantly, the trough between the two peaks must remain below the zero line the entire time. The twin peaks are also a contrarian strategy as you are entering short positions when the indicator is above zero and buying when below zero. Here are other examples of Bill Williams' Twin Peak strategy. Strategy number three. Awesome oscillator trendline cross. 
This approach would keep us out of choppy markets and allow us to reap the gains that come before waiting on confirmation from a break of the zero line. The awesome oscillator trendline cross setup can be identified as follows. Long setup. Awesome oscillator has two swing highs above the zero line. Draw a trend line connecting the two swing highs down through the zero line. Buy a break of the trend line. As you can see in this example, by opening a position on the break of the trend line prior to the cross above the zero line, you are able to eat more of the gains. The other point to note is that the downward sloping line requires two swing points of the awesome oscillator, and the second swing point needs to be low enough to create the downward trend line. Bearish setup. Awesome oscillator has two swing lows below the zero line. Draw a trend line connecting the two swing lows up through the zero line. Sell short a break of the trend line. Here are other examples of awesome oscillator trend line cross strategy. The awesome oscillator is an important tool for traders as it gives a deep insight into the market. It identifies the current driving force of the market, which makes it valuable and unique. No matter which strategy you use, don't forget to place your stop loss and protect your profits. We recommend you to pair this indicator with price action pattern or any other indicators to generate more accurate trading signals. As always, if you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. See you next time.